Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And uh, today is February 11th. Mercury goes direct, and there's a lot happening. And I do want to let you know that um, for a lot of what's going to happen this year, it's on. It is going to be pedal to the metal for a lot of people and continuing to move forward. And I want to talk to you today about break the stagnation. Break it up. Shake it up. A lot of you have uh, been through the Mercury retrograde, and I want to let you know what some of it was all about. It was a lot of bringing things full circle, and some of the things you were bringing full circle were things from a uh, five-year cycle, so from about five years ago, 2009 or so, 2010. And it is also uh, one of these 5,000-year uh, cycles where things that occurred on Earth and in some other places, the equivalent of about 5,000 years ago, brought full circle. But it's also the end of, uh, part of the ending of the 26,000 natural earth ascension cycle. So a 26,000 year cycle and yes, there have been people who've been in a third density uh, state of living and involvement in karmic cycles for the past 26,000 years. So for some people it's been for uh, parts of the ice age. There are people I've actually spoken to and I myself who do remember uh, a different manner of living when there was a fall through the dimensions and in many ways we did the best we could. It's taken everything we've had to get to this point and yet everything's within. So for a lot of people who are themselves illumined twin flames, whether you're from the Blu-ray and lately it's also been people from the red rays, the green rays, crimson, ruby, uh, coral, orange, purple, uh, magenta, and violet. It's on. And this is going to be your time. Now, not everyone is going at once. People are going uh, together or coming together with their true beloved in uh, different timelines. And it also depends upon you. Have you placed yourself in the new timeline? Are you owning that which you yourselves have set up to create here? Um, many of you have had as a part of your soul evolution, your journey here and coming here. Some of you came here to uh, start civilizations such as Lemuria and Atlantis, went on to uh, start the Egyptian civilization, Sumerian, Mayan, uh, some of the ones that you know about. We're actually concluding all of that and we're you're going back out the way it came in in a lot of ways. So what does this mean? Time to break your own stagnation. If you've been getting prompted by spirit to do certain things, now's the time. Now's when your things can start to move forward. Get out of the fear. Be in expectancy. You're not here to create meanness with your twin or with anyone else. You're not here to create rejection. You're here as part of the creation of the new. And you're mel we're melding all these consciousnesses together. So uh, what does that also mean? Get rid of the sexual double standard. A lot of people have this uh, going on or, you know, feel like, well, you know, that's the way it is. That is actually not the way it is. And uh, a couple of the things to know is that this is requiring you to invest in yourself. Yes. Or as we say in the United States in, in sports, time to put some skin in the game. That means, yeah, take those leaps of faith, make those changes, take those baby steps reach out, um, test things, test your own body. 
a lot of you are going through body changes and those body changes are not just ascension symptoms. They're literal changes and it's going to continue for actually the next several years. The next several years will bring about major changes and there's things coming into alignment now. And I've had the pleasure of speaking to some people who are bringing changes in healthcare, in technology, in education. Uh, a lot of the children themselves, if you have kids in your family, please help your kids because they're part of your ascension. They're along for the ride. They're a part of your journey. Some of them can be some very strong ascension partners, especially if the kids are part of your union. Whether they're your kids or your twins' kids, it doesn't matter. They're your kids. Those kids belong to all of us, too. So if you don't have any children in your life, and you may feel this, um, yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to feel little tugs here and there, the things that are pulling you in, in the right direction uh, for what you're equipped for, what you came here for. Why did you come here? You came here to be new. You came here to be in love again. You came here to put your soul back into oneness. And there is only one other half of your soul. Part of this uh, retrograde has been people bumping into soulmates. And a lot of those soulmates really feel lovely. And it's because you've done your work. And yeah, pat yourself on the back that you did your work. You can feel again. You can sense. However, your senses also need to be judicious and really tune in and say, you know, what's the truth here? If I meet this person, what does this mean? Now, um, another thing is that you have to decide that you are worth it. Your guides, in many cases, have had so much faith in you because they know what you're capable of. They know this. They've been guiding you. A lot of you, they've been pushing you. And maybe you feel like, well, Patricia, I'm doing all the work and I don't know if my counterpart's doing anything. Yeah, they're doing something. Many times they've been doing, you know, multiple levels of work just like you have. Don't assume. Please expect that that counterpart is uh, doing their part. Now is coming the time for, yes, mending the fences, cleaning up the side of the street, breaking the stagnation, making movement, taking actions. And some of you have been sitting on the sidelines and saying, well, I've got to hand it over to God. At every given turn, there is an opportunity. And, and when uh, a planet, when there is a retrograde, that is that planet wanting you to pause. What is the energy of that planet represent? What does the energy of Mercury represent or Jupiter or Mars? And Jupiter is sort of the Santa Claus energy. Mars is sort of, uh, uh, you know, it's transitioning. It's different aspects of the masculine. And Mercury is also masculine, but it is also um, the things of delight. It's the things that, um, it's quickness, it's rapidity, it's the quickening. And yeah, it's, it's time. You know, what is, what is getting your juices flowing? And, and so this pause that wants you to examine and then move forward and take action on things. It's you who has to take the action in the physical realm. You are the human part. You're the human uh, conduit for source love. You're also the human who is here to merge yourself into oneness. And yes, it's going to be a physical merger because things are tucked inside your body. You and your beloved have the keys to each other. Okay, you decide that you're worth it. Have a heart of expansion and feel big. It doesn't mean think big. It doesn't mean think, well, I need a new job. I need a new car. The universe wants those people that are strong enough to really know where they came from. You don't have to have past life memories. You have to know in your heart. Who are you? Where are you from? And for some of you, you're, you're discovering this. Some of you have been slammed through it.
and it's been rough and and you wish that someone would let up on the pressure it's really going to let up when you align yourself with your true beloved whether that is in the physical and yes it will be in the physical whether it is uh, in another dimension you're pulling everything of yourself here to do this you're digging in deep for your resources and yes there's a lot of immense help the focus is going to be like it always has been on those who help themselves who decide that they're worth it who uh, reach out who are reaching up who are maintaining what they've already built so feel big feel the expansiveness of your soul feel yourself at a planetary level feel yourself at a cosmic level feel yourself at a galactic level feel yourself at a universal level because I guarantee you there are going to be different levels of soul merge that you will be asked if you're ready for it so decide for yourself that you know do are you ready do you do you really want this you know you are the one that has to really put yourself in uh, the heart space that yes what everything is is being shown to you your internal messages those things that you get the numbers the angel numbers and people you know they'll get their messages in their way a song comes on a film comes on they see an advertisement they see a series of numbers continually um, they will know certain things and they're staying in fear because they're saying oh if I mention this someone's going to be well let me tell you something I was one of those people I knew things I would you know hold myself back I'm not holding back anymore I started a few years ago just telling people at the grocery store I, I started to feel like a recruiter and the thing is is that you know when you start to talk to people on another level they'll respond to you if you start having some heart-based conversations they will respond to you with their heart or they'll walk if they're not at your vibration they'll you know you'll know and when you know then you'll really know and and this is a part of your journey you may not have to um, say everything but speaking parts of your truth is going to be important as we go forward I'm an angelic I'm a human angelic I come from here I've had past lives I believe in reincarnation whatever it is for you and further to own some of your own power that there are more ways than one that spirit and yourself your higher self is going to help you do this so the last uh, couple things that I want to talk to you about are uh, there's a lot of body changes coming up for people and a lot I mean I'm already putting together material uh, having to do with some of your cycles some of uh, as you're aligning higher how you're going to align to other cycles and this is going to mean body changes for people because you're whether you like it or not whether you still engage or not or your twin engages in 3d things or whether you found a way to have fun with certain things and let go of other things which is how it should be you're continuing to let go because some of you are getting ready to make the jump here and what does that mean it means that uh, with the physical changes it would be a good idea this is prompting from my guidance I've done it I've had it get a physical have a physical with your doctor so that you have a baseline for things so that as you go through changes and if you need to check something uh, that you know the difference you will have some knowingness within yourself you may still need the outside support you may need uh, you know medicines here or there it's going to be up to you for different people it's going to be different things it's going to be their thyroid or it'll be their reproductive system or it will be um, their their spine or their nervous system or it'll be a joint or it'll be um, something with uh, you know digestion respiratory it could be any number of things but make sure first you know where do you stand right now 
and uh, this is this is going to be some things that if people keep sort of ignoring what's going on with their own body or just calling it a symptom rather than uh, rolling with it and finding out ways to adjust themselves um, they're going to have a more difficult time than they need to it there it is possible to ease some of ease some of this process for yourself so uh, the very last thing I'm going to share because uh, I was I, I know that there's been a lot of people who are afraid and we've already prepared the grid and there's people who have yes that you're getting on that ladder you're getting on that bridge of life and what happened you got a comfy there you you sat there you set up shop and I I saw I came across something that a friend found and I just thought this was so funny I had to depict it so bear with me here because this is my depiction of what they were talking about and once again I have sort of rated my son's action figure set here but what I've got is I think going to um, put a smile on your face this person talked about camping out on the ladder oh I'm sorry let me um, let me tilt this so you can see it so I made this little diorama let me scoot you in here now all right so this person was saying you know some people are camping out on the ladder of their own creation they've their twin is up here in the cloud really ready to connect with them so they can go to the fifth dimension is sort of looking down saying hey you know I'm here and they're camped out with a soulmate they're just camping out here at this level and they're not making any moves they're not trying to meet their true beloved who's there ready to help them get to the fifth dimension and you know whether or not you know you find this amusing this is this was my depiction of what that other person described and yet I will say this about it many people worked really long and hard last year and a lot of people were actually waiting for the twin flames to uh, you know get the grid restored get it up and running come together do your grid work I was one of them I contacted someone when I first awoken and uh, I said to him I wrote to him and I said oh hey thanks for all your work and by the way the cavalry has arrived well this was a little bit naive on my part of course because little did I know how much were and he wrote me back and he said this is work and I was like whoa and it has been work but let me ask you have you not felt your life enlivened I mean when I when I think about what my life would have been without some of this without of some of the experiences I've had the people I've met along the way um, you know I'm not in the fifth dimension but I've been there but let me tell you something it's been a lot more lively than I ever would have uh, had otherwise if I had stayed in 3d 3d was getting very very stagnant for me yes it was getting very stagnant so decide for yourself do you want to camp out or do you want to get to where you're going because uh, everything that was built up last year and we had to wait almost one extra year for those twin flame couples who are the grid point people the people who agreed to yes form their grid clear their grid get their grid already so that it can fire up and um, really start ascending life here we haven't seen anything yet we've not seen anything yet and so I'm here to encourage you okay I can't make anyone do anything but really be encouraged because my own life is a complete you know 180 from what it once was I, I took money that I had I, I shoved it all in I told the universe I, I'm all in I'm in the I'm putting my money in the pot here I am doing this and do you know what my guide said they said it's been your agreement from a long time ago you're one of the original people who agreed to um, 
lift up the grid, in other words, elevate the grid of life for Gaia of what was once in place, but also the promise made to the beloved and to Gaia. So there are people who, yes, we promised Gaia we would help her ascend and become the new star of the fifth dimension. And yeah, it's taking an army of us. There's fewer of us than expected, but there is so much immense help from the universe. This is all hands. All hands are here. And make your decision. Do you want to still camp out with these soulmates? Or do you want, do you want to get up to the beyond the clouds? Because a lot of you, your own meditation, you can... You're having these meditations and you're poking your heads through and you're like, you're peeking around. You can see it. You can see it. You can smell it. You can taste it. You can feel it. And for some of you, yeah, you're waiting. So don't give up. Uh, please don't give up on your beloved. There's going to be a lot that happens this year. Um, doors are going to blast open. Things are going to become available. Energies are going to be supportive. Things are still getting transmuted. And so hang in here. Um, also, I do have some support webinars. And within them, I go into much more detail than I'm going into in 20 minutes of talking on these videos. So be very willing to break your own stagnation. Break the stagnation of your life. I mean, we've had a pretty brutal winter in a lot of the parts of the United States. And the weather's been crazy in a lot of other parts. This requires stability. And I have one more question to pose to you. Who would you trust to hold up a grid of life? Think about it. Feel it. Feel that one out with your heart. Because if you're a couple that keeps falling apart, and you need to address the emotional or mental stuff, do it. It's worth it. You're worth it. You are worth it. Other people will be holding things up while you get through this. Okay, but get yourself through it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks once again for listening. And I just passed my one-year anniversary, February 3rd, but I needed to get through Mercury Retrograde. So uh, thank you for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing. Tell a friend to subscribe. I do appreciate it, and uh, there's going to be more to come. So have a great day. Bye now.